the topic of this talk will be um, so real time BI and the way. Um, so our what is real B, uh, real time BI for us and how Spago BI provides real time uh, BI functionalities. Basically, it will be uh, what are we talking about? Uh, what it, what is it and why it's useful? Uh, what do we need from a technical viewpoint to achieve real time BI features and how? Uh, Spago BI has addressed this uh, challenge of providing real-time BI features. Why, so why the, 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 the thing is relevant, what's the, the motivation here? Because of course we, we need a motivation for everything we do, otherwise it's just a buzzword, but it's not. Uh, basically, we have already said today uh, things are moving fast, at a very fast pace today, and uh, a crucial need for enterprises is to um, be, uh, let's say, uh, to have access to information that is relevant to them on time. On time does not necessarily uh, mean uh, uh, quickly, very quickly. It means when you need it. Uh, so we have the relevant part, which means uh, we don't need all data. We need data that uh, really creates uh, create information for us that is relevant for the business. Uh, and uh, let's say for our customers because we, we work for them uh, and on time so really what when we need it uh, this helps so this has a number of advantages so having access to relevant information on time means that I can uh, react quickly if I see that something is happening I can react at the time when this reaction is needed so not afterwards uh, I can uh, detect that something is not working properly. So, for example, there are inefficiencies in my, uh, in my firm, in my processes. There's a bottleneck, something that, need, uh, that needs a, a reaction and decision. This can be, uh, let's say, at a technical level. For example, if I am monitoring a, a telecommunication infrastructure, I don't know, and I see there's a problem on a node, or I see in my business process, process there's a block, but it can also be at a business level. So monitoring the, the, the uh, system uh, using this uh, relevant information can help making decisions uh, in time. And this is the, the crucial point. So real-time BI is about um, providing, and an, is about, sorry, analyzing, actually. Uh, uh, events, business events, uh, when they occur. I also added the um, react to, just because we are talking about uh, analyzing data, so being providing with uh, 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 sorry, information and take decision. So first of all, we are not really talking about data anymore, but we are more talking about events. Uh, this is a, at a higher level. Uh, because it's not like collecting all data we have, for example, from an operational system and then storing them in the data warehouse and then going and, and, and filtering all the data and see, okay, this, has, this is happening, this happened uh, some, some days ago or whatever. It's about putting the um, uh, BI system uh, in the middle of the data flow, so when systems are communicating and extracting relevant events when they happen. So for example, if I see that uh, an order has been uh, issued, but the goods have not been shipped, uh, then I can say, OK, maybe there's a problem in my stocks. I should refill them. And I don't need to see all the data about the, the order of uh, yesterday and the other days. I see this as an event, because some data uh, in a logical order, or chronological maybe, generate a relevant event. So that's the, the, the key point, that we uh, real-time BI uh, provide events. Uh, and the second key point, which is different from traditional BI, is that um, users, business users, can also react to those events. So normally we think of BI as um, a set of tools, something that uh, uh, provides data to business users. They look at data and say, okay, they make analysis, that's it. But there's generally no reaction on the system. In this case, real-time BI has also a focus on allowing this reaction. So for example, I can, uh, I can have a, uh, let's say, bi-directional interaction, data towards business user, but also the business user can do something on data. For example, I see that a process in my business process management system is blocked, okay, I will do something. I will send an email to the responsible. I will move this process in another state. And this is another uh, 
a crucial point that is different from traditional BI. Uh, so uh, these are just examples of application areas. Basically, we have already made examples of, of this. Uh, this is just to say um, we often think of real-time BI in terms of uh, monitoring at technical level. Uh, so as we said, telecommunication infrastructures, uh, service level agreement, which is true. But this can also happen at a higher level. So as we said, for example, if uh, uh, we have a business process management system in place, monitoring the BPM is really a higher level business uh, kind of uh, um, analysis because I'm really watching at what's happening in the performance of my uh, business processes. So this idea of real-time BI can be applied at different levels and not just technical. Uh, given this um, idea of uh, uh, providing events uh, to uh, business users on time, um, there's a question arising. Uh, it's quite... Um, clear that uh, location, let's say user mobility becomes uh, critical uh, when we want to deliver business events on time. Because nowadays, okay, we know it's a trend, but it's true and it's really becoming true in the, the business world. Um, users uh, move and use mobile devices. So we can think of a salesman, for example, but this is true more and more everywhere. And it's not just because tablet, uh, I mean, the iPad is nice, of course, but the thing is, uh, as actually Tom pointed out before, uh, there's an expectation from business users to be able to use their devices and see data on their devices. So if I want uh, to uh, see my business events on time, uh, of course, it's even more important that this can happen when I am moving, when I am using my tablet, and not just because I'm sitting in front of my computer. So. Um, Beside time, space becomes a critical factor, and we think that it's not possible to really um, approach real-time BI we, without thinking of uh, mobility. So real-time should also be anywhere BI. These are uh, different aspects of the same uh, um, problem, let's say. So it's real-time, anywhere BI, and this is actually our approach. Uh, from a technological viewpoint, which are the let's say infrastructures, what do we need if we want to achieve real-time anywhere BI? So um, the first thing we need, it's a, actually it's a very broad uh, idea, is a business activity monitoring platform. Uh, I tried to summarize with uh, this picture what, what is in, in, a, in a BAM uh, system. Basically, a BAM is a system that um, generate, well, let's say generates events, business events, so he's able to detect and generate them and make them usable to business users. So the, those events are detected from the data flow. So basically, when we have data sources, these are data, but then the first uh, uh, feature that we need is event d detection starting from data. So that's the first point. This is where um, uh, normally a complex event processing engine works. This engine is something that based on data and applying logic, some kind of logics, which can also be temporal, uh, uh, this, uh, this engine produces, generates events. So for example, as we said before, um, if I have um, an order that is issued and I don't see the shipment of goods, I can, after, let's say, a couple of days, I can raise the, the CEP raises the event that probably stocks are under quota because that's, there's a logic saying this. So from data to events. This is the CEP. Then events uh, need to be uh, presented to the user. So we have uh, an event vis visualization uh, part, console and dashboards, so the, the visual presentations of those business events. We have an event notification, so an al alarm services basically, to say to business users, hey, something has happened. Uh, and this is, um, you see, there's a dashed line because this is more a traditional BI part. Beside the real time, we can also collect uh, historical data and compare them to real time data because this gives added value, of course. I, I can compare the two and see what's happening. Although this, uh, as we said, where, where I store data and I make statistical historical analysis, this is more traditional BI, but it can be coupled to real time and this provides added value. And of course, the final target are users. So users sitting in front of a computer or moving 
And that's the, the second aspect. So beside uh, building a business activity monitoring system, we also need to uh, uh, provide access to BI documents or tools from mobile devices.